Hi, I'm here today with Mike Glass, who's the Director of Demand Side Systems at PG&E. Uh, welcome, Mike. Thank you, great to be here. So, Mike, uh, the energy sector is huge, and there's a ton of data being generated by uh, your systems, uh, especially since the introduction of smart meters. Um, what sorts of things are enabled by things like smart meters and other kinds of sensors that you're putting in, in your systems? Oh, thanks for the question. Um, it's definitely a really exciting time to be part of the energy industry and actually to be in IT in particular. Um, at PG&E, we've got uh, over 5 million electric smart meters and over 4 million gas smart meters deployed in the field and already reporting a, a ton of information back for our operations. Some of the key things that smart meters enable, uh, it's the obvious things like being able to bill differently. Mm -hmm. So rather than having one data point for a customer mm -hmm. uh, and, and billing off of that data point, having a stream of data, hourly data or 15 minutes, so you can vary pricing uh, throughout the day. Uh, that has some interesting operational impacts and, and customer impacts. Some of the more interesting stuff and more complex stuff is around uh, what you can do from a customer uh, marketing and segmentation mm -hmm. standpoint. Uh, the data that we have today, uh, it, it provides a wealth of insight about what's going on at a customer uh, pre premise or residence, uh, and it gives us an opportunity to really market directly to them and help them, uh, for example, use less electricity. Um, so in, in addition to helping the consumer uh, to more efficiently use their energy, um, on the operational side, how does access to all this data help PG&E uh, reduce its costs and keep costs low for consumers? So one of the things that we're piloting um, is a targeted demand side management program mm -hmm. at PG&E. And what it does is, with all the smart meter data, it gives you the opportunity to take a localized peak, uh, for example, on a local circuit mm -hmm. and see which customers are actually contributing to that local peak. Mm -hmm. We can then look at those customers and see if we can help them with their operations, get them signed up for a demand response program, actually lower the peak on the circuit. Doing that can uh, increase reliability on a circuit and it can also help us as a company, mm -hmm. potentially defer projects and move our focus to a different part of the grid so that we can make that other part of the grid more reliable. So in addition to uh, implementation of smart meters, um, is pg and also thinking about expanding their network of sensors throughout the distribution system? Absolutely, I mean, so this is not directly in my area, but um, we get more and more sensors uh, out on the grid a as time progresses, uh, a lot more SCADA data coming back, so that's operational data coming back from certain equipment. It allows you to do certain things like, for example, if you have an outage in the field and you've got good sensor data out there so you can localize that outage, you can actually use a scheme that we've built, uh, that we've pre-built to actually sectionalize that, uh, limit it to a certain number of customers and bring the rest of the customers in that area uh, back online. So really interesting use cases, all enabled by better information uh, you know, in, in near real time. Mike, thanks for coming to us. Thank you, Greg.